In this video, I'm going to share with you how I designed and built my own load bars for the RSI Smart Cap. I tried to order some RSI load bars a while back, but they were on back order far beyond the time that I would need them. In looking at alternative sources and hearing some recommendations, I came upon these. These came in at about $175 shipped to my house, and with some assembly, I feel like they turned out nice, as opposed to the RSI load bars that cost $255. Hope you enjoy. You'll need two 1x3 extrusion bars of the 10 series at 47 inch lengths. These are tapped on the ends for quarter 20 screws. You'll also need four 1 inch lengths of the 1x3 10 series extrusion bars. Eight inside corner brackets. I ordered 16 sets of quarter 20 button head screws with the T-nuts. I got the stainless steel for strength. I modified each of the brackets by drilling two of the holes to a larger diameter to accommodate for the larger screw to mount to the top of the smart cap. The 16 screws are M8 16 millimeter length button head screws. I had to modify half of them by grinding down the top in order to accommodate for both screws that go into the corner of the bracket. I also ordered eight hidden corner connectors for extra strength on the structure. These I used to mount the one inch length of the extrusion bars underneath the main load bar. You'll first want to pre-assemble your inside corner brackets by taking one of the large modified screws that have been ground at the top and placing it inside the modified hole in the corner of the bracket. Next, you'll want to take one of the quarter 20 screws and place it in the other hole in the corner of the bracket. Now take one of the economy T-nuts and thread it onto the end of the quarter 20 screw. Now add a second quarter 20 screw and T-nut to the hole right next to the one you just assembled. This is what your corner bracket should look like. For assembly, you'll need the 5, 4, and 2.5 metric Allen wrenches. Begin by inserting one of the hidden corner brackets into the center of the bar. Next, slide one of the 1 inch bars over top of that bracket, sliding it in just a bit to let it hang. Take one of the pre-assembled inside corner brackets, take the T-nut by the corner and slide it into the side of the 1 inch bar, and then take the other T-nut and slide it into the end of the long bar. Follow the same procedure on the other side. Next, take another hidden corner bracket and slide it into the center of the one inch and into the center of the long bar. Then install the end cap. You'll notice that the one inch piece can slide up off of the brackets and the T-nuts. In order to prevent it from falling out, just snug up one of the screws on the side. Now repeat these steps for the other mounting feet. Using the 2.5 metric Allen wrench, remove the screw holding the cap on the end of the T-bracket. Now you can slide out the welding nuts. I need to point out here that the smart cap only provides eight mounting nuts. You'll need to order eight more in order to install these bars. You can find them on Amazon for a pack of 20 for about five to six dollars. The nut is an M8 square welding nut. Thread the welding nuts onto the ends of the M8 screws on the bottom of the bracket. Be sure to have the corners that are protruding facing towards the bracket.
Now you can slide the welding nut into the T-slot of the bracket on top of the smart cap. If you keep all of your screws loose, this will make it easier to get them slid into place. Be sure to measure each side of the bar in order to make sure it is centered. After replacing the end cap on the rail, I slid the bracket to the edge of the rail and I tightened up all the screws. I used the number 5 Allen for the M8 screws on the bottom mounting to the rail and the number 4 Allen wrench to tighten up the quarter 20 screws on the sides. Next, I used the 2.5 Allen wrench to tighten up the set screws in the hidden brackets. This was a bit difficult to do with the bar mounted on top of the cap. So after getting the feet in the place that I needed them, I took it off of the cap carefully, tightened the screws, and put it back on top of the cap. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now get out on the trails and have some fun.